Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. So Docker recently launched their model runner with which you can download the models, you can run the models locally, and you can integrate your software applications with the local models to build some cool AI agents or assistants. In today's video, we will learn how to use the model runner and how to build an AI assistant in Python. It's going to be a very interesting video. Make sure you watch it till the end. I'm sure at the moment, a lot of you might be thinking about Olama because in the past we used Olama to download and run the models. Of course, model runner does the same job. However, there are advantages of using model runner which I'll cover in the video. So for now, let's get started and see how to use it. As a first step, you need to have Docker desktop. So assuming you have Docker desktop installed and it is running, go to the dashboard. To the bottom right of your screen, you will find the version of Docker desktop. Ensure the version is latest. In my case, it is 4.40, which is the latest version of Docker desktop. If you don't have the latest version, you need to upgrade because model runner is only supported as part of the latest version. Once you confirm that, take your terminal and run docker model hyphen h. Again, if you don't have the latest version, you might not see the same output. You might see model as not a recognized command. Also at times, you must have installed the latest version, but it needs a restart or maybe you need to log in back to your Docker account. You might find the commands familiar. So if you have used Docker as a container platform before, you know, the commands are same. Pull to pull the container image in this case to download a model RM to remove a container, in this case, RM to remove a model. Similarly, run to run the model. So it's pretty easy if you are coming from Docker container world. Okay, now the question is, Abhishek, okay, it says to pull a model, but where does it download the model from? So if I pull a container image, I know it's coming from the Docker Hub. Similarly, so you have the Docker Hub for the models. I'll put the link in the description. It's hub.docker.com slash u slash AI, where you have various popular models. You have Llama 3, you have small LM2, you have the fee model. I will take small LM for the video because it's a very lightweight model. If I remember it correct, I think it's close to 135 million parameters compared to 1 billion parameters of Llama, the smallest model of Llama. Okay, so I'll just copy this. If you want, you can go with a specific tag. So I'll just go with the latest. Copy, go back to the terminal and run docker model pull followed by what you copied. For the first time, it will take time because it's downloading 256 MB. In my case, it's already there. So it picked up from the cache. I can verify by running Docker model list. Okay, so it will list all the models that are running local to your machine. Now, you can simply run the model by using Docker model run followed by the name of the model. You can provide the prompt here. Uh, let's say you just want to use the model for a single prompt. So you can pass the prompt here. Uh, let's say, what is Kubernetes? So it responded back and you can see the model is no longer running because you just used it for a single prompt. What you can also do is you can use it in an interactive mode. Docker run, sorry, Docker model run. 
just do not provide any prompt and press enter. It starts an interactive chat. Now you can ask, what is Kubernetes? Of course, it responds back. You can continue the conversation just like how you use ChatGPT. Abhishek, instead of using the CLI, can I build an AI assistant and integrate my local model? You can definitely do that, which we will do in a couple of minutes. Let's explore the other commands. Now that I have the model local, how do I remove the model? So just do Docker model RM followed by the name of the model. And it would simply remove the model from your machine. So if you want to free up the space or if you no longer need a particular model, you can easily do it. Cool. So now let's see how to integrate an application with this model. The official docs has an example. If you just scroll down, I will provide this link in the description as well, the page for model runner. So if you just scroll down, so they have this application. So they have the GitHub repository where, you know, you can use the same application to run the AI assistant in Python, Node.js, as well as Go. So what is it doing is basically it is using model from your local machine. If you're interested, you can go through the source code. Maybe if you want to build your own assistant instead of using this, you can go through it. It's an open source application. What I will do is I will just clone the repository. I think I already have it. Let me just remove that. Okay, uh, RM, hello, great. So I'll now clone the repository. I'll switch to the directory, great. And all that I have to do is run the command run.sh. Where is it reading the model from? So you have the .env file in the repository where, you know, it provides a specific model name. In my case, I don't have this model. So what it would do when you run the application, it would actually pull this model from the Docker Hub using the model runner. So instead of that, I will use the model that I already have on my machine, right? So that it takes less time. So let's run run.sh. So it is using AI small lm2. Great. And the application has already started building. It is trying to connect the model. And once you have these containers running, so this is the Python container. This is the node container. Go container, it's running into some issue with respect to port not available. For now, I'll ignore that because I'm interested in Python application. So it started on port 8081. Local host 8081. Perfect. So I have this interface. I can just type what is Kubernetes, just like how I use ChatGPT. So it is thinking and it responded back very fast. If you're wondering why, because I was using small LM2, which is a very lightweight model. And I also have 28 GPUs on this machine. So it's a super fast machine and a lightweight model because of the combination, the response is very fast. What I want to stress here is how Docker model runner has made this entire process very seamless, right? I don't need to have a separate software. For example, in my case, I'm talking about the difference between Olama and Docker. You know, because I keep working with a lot of developers or DevOps engineers, I work on containerization on the day-to-day -day basis. Or I work with container images or containers. So I already have Docker installed on my machine. Instead of using a different software like Olama, of course it's great. But instead of using two different softwares, I can just use one in this case, both for my traditional software applications or container images and also for the models. 
it also has great integration with the mcp server it becomes too much for the video because it's a initial video of docker model runner in the future videos i'll also show you how to integrate mcp server and use ai agents using docker model runner for now this is what i wanted to show or demonstrate in the video if you want to create your ai assistant all the links are in the description the link for the repository the link for docker ai hub and also the documentation of docker model runner i hope you found the video interesting see you all in the next video take care bye bye